Hey, Jose Faction here, back again <clears throat> with another video. And this time we are looking at Phasmophobia again because it just updated to 0.27.4.2. And I updated a lot of the cheats in the cheat table. And well, because of the update, we've lost some cheats. We no longer have money EXP cheat. We lost the custom reach and custom throw cheats as well. For picking up an item and dropping it. Uh, so yeah, we lost those, but most everything else I updated and got managed to get it working. So let's just go ahead and start doing a quick showcase. Start out here in the lobby. Um, so here we got the player cords thing going on, same as usual. We got this. <clears throat> the fly hack is cool. Use shift plus I button to move up, shift plus O to go down. And this one means that if you go out of bounds, well, in game, it, won't, it will not teleport you back to the truck. This deactivates that teleport box. <clears throat> so you don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, so yeah, let's click that on. And there you go. We're moving up. We're outside of the house now. Dope. Alright, so let me just deactivate it. Boom. Land back inside. Safe and sound. So, all of this, you can save a position, load a position back. So, you just go stand somewhere that you want to save that location. You can use F1 to save, or if you want to do a second slot, use F3. And then just uh, go to a different place, and if you want to go back, load up that previous location with the F2 or F4, depending on which slot you're saving in. So you can like <clears throat> stand in the truck if you want, and when you go in a house and the hunt starts, you teleport back to the truck. It's useful to do that. It's good stuff. Of course, we have our walking and running speed. All good. Uh, ooh, that, that's an issue. The address has changed. Anyways, we'll just turn that one on and away we go. Let's make sure that works right. It's printing faster, yeah. Okay. So that works good. Yeah, we're gonna have to fix that one. Uh, we got unreliable address going on. So just disregard that one, guys. My bads. Yeah. Whoopsie daisies. Anyways. <clears throat> So let's go into a game here and we'll check out these. These are all pretty cool. So go here. I've gathered a list of other hunters asking for help. And let's just show off this one really quick. All Bretons pressable when you're not the host. You do that and you join up with some random public game. Lo and behold, you can click something that you shouldn't be able to click. Like choose a job because someone else is the host. And I think the unfortunately though you cannot click start even when everybody's ready. It still doesn't work. So but at least you could choose a map. <laughs> you don't like the host taking so long, just pick a map. 
good to go. Hoop score. Let's go score a point. Take that value. Get your hoop score. So yeah, let's go in. Let's make our own private game really quick. Show off the rest of the cheats. And some stuff. All oh, button makes things pretty nice. You quickly get all the equipment in there. And boom. Now. Let's see what we do. Select one of these so we can show off the cheats that mess around with the set uh, setup timer and stuff. You'll see that in a second. So ready up, start. And boom. All mission toes in there. Pretty good. Done question mark to yes. Doesn't really change anything. Anyways, set up. You can see our timer is going. Four minutes, 59, 5 minutes pretty much. He tells you at the main door. It's been unlocked yet. Not yet. We're in setup phase. Yeah, we're in setup. 5 minutes on the clock. How cool is that, guys? Get that up. And. Trucker Rucker. Yeah. Forgot to get strong flashlights. That's okay. Let's use regular flashlight. So. Do that. Do that later. And that. A little bit later on. We'll show off the flashlight hacks in just a minute, guys. And sanity hook. Go in the house. See sanity level. Your insanity level is in there. You go here to the truck. See that timer on the wall over there. Get into view a little bit better. Okay. If you do this sheet, all sanity is down. All sanity is down. Average sanity zero. Good stuff. Kind of. It's a little janky. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. I think I'll get the ghost to hunt. Most of the times. Anyways. Clock. Oh, you see down here. 3 minutes 37. Change that to a zero. That's our minutes. Now we have only 30 seconds. Let's give ourselves one second left. Oh, setup is over. So now we go in directly into professional type mode. No more setup. Control people with that. Ghost info. Get your ghost info. Name, age, favorite room. Type. Get it is. Client side force hunt thing. Work better as host. And the speed at which your ghost moves during a hunt. Kind of. It's a little janky. Uh, this one. No ghost blink during hunt. You just change that to a zero. One means on for blinking. Zero means blinking is off. Pretty much. 
so take that out. Fuse box. All right. So lastly, we're gonna take a look at this flashlight glow stick control. It pretty much controls the brightness, uh, brightness parameters for all light sources in the game. Well, all your flashlights and the glow stick mainly. So you open that up. So you got the regular flashlight here. It's in my hand. So we uh, mess around with those parameters. So we put a big old two factor on that. Up the range. Increase our angle. And boom. Lovely. Nice bright flashlight. Same thing goes for UV. Boom, here's UV. <coughs> Take that too. And, uh, fitty. Take that. Very nice. And boom. Check it out. Much brighter UV. And then the glow stick. So we go here, glow stick is populated. It's good. Make the range. Quite a bit more. Boom. Really only need to hack range. That's pretty much it. Put it on the ground, still works on the ground. Everything's good. All your flashlights keep their half the parameters and the glow stick as well. <clears throat> so yeah. All that is uh kind of dandy. So we'll pop out of here. guys that's our updated uh, cheat table showcase for the latest phasmophobia right and before we end the video just want to give a quick shout out to the guys behind this right in here I'm in a VIP chat with all the devs including myself who have been working so hard on this cheat table and also there's a mod menu in the works they're working on right now. Uh, unfortunately it's going to be a paid one. But it'll be worth it for you guys. I'll make another video once that mod menu is out. Along with whatever else looks cool. But yeah. These guys, Python, Crankstar, Glatrix. Mostly Glatrix. They came up with a... This all buttons pressable right here. That's Glatrix. <clears throat> I came up with this rapid photos, I believe. All right, and the ghost info also came up with that and the fuse box. That was pretty self explanatory. Sorry, I didn't show that one while we were in the game. But yeah, you just turn it on, flip a switch in the house, and you'll see whether the fuse box is on or off, max lights, before the power cuts. And a number of switches added on, etc. etc. Um, yeah, so those were this one, view box, ghost info, rapid photo, all buttons pressable, it's all Galatrix. I thank him for that. I will get around to fixing this custom walk for the speed thing. <clears throat> Seems like the address has changed. Anyways. Uh, yeah. That's all we got. So, as per usual, thank you all so much for watching. Hit the like button if you liked it. And hit that subscribe button to see more content like this. And I'll see you all next time.